diodes like the 1N54408 here in the circuit and also LEDs have on their barrier layer a certain capacitance and that capacitance varies with the voltage applied to the LED or to the diode. Visible here, this is a part of the circuit that I've made. Here you see the LEDs now in the middle of the screen marked with X, red LEDs is what I use. You can also try green LEDs, perhaps that also works. And when we apply a voltage to the LEDs, the capacitance varies and here the LEDs are taken into a tank circuit and that tank circuit is connected to an oscillator. That means when we turn the potentiometer from 470 ohms here, the frequency will change somewhat. And my aim is to make an oscillator that um, has a broad frequency band. But the maximum frequency that I can uh, get now is approximately 90 kilohertz. So when you use um, this circuit for a shortwave oscillator, um, perhaps you can uh, discriminate uh, six uh, radio stations or so with this frequency variation. But it is a useful principle. Here you see the um, circuit on uh, the, the breadboard with the 22k um, <coughs> uh, potentiometer. We set the oscillation, the oscillator to oscillate, and then it oscillates on a certain frequency. And that frequency is a 3.140. A megahertz. And when I turn the potentiometer we can see that the frequency changes somewhat. So it's usable, uh, the circuit is usable as a kind of fine tuning on shortwave and also within a limited uh, frequency band to receive say a few radio stations each approximately seven kilohertz wide with a bandwidth from approximately uh, 7 kilohertz. I'm working further on this issue and my aim is to make a broadband shortwave oscillator uh, with the help of um, diodes, LEDs or whatever and to avoid the, um, uh, the capacitor, the tuning capacitor. So complete electronic tuning. I hope the circuit is a little bit visible. It's somewhat sloppy, the drawing. So I pen again the drawing. Everyone interested in this circuit can make it, try it. Not very difficult to make. This is a classical oscillator circuit. I use the BC547 because it always works. Emitter resistors are somewhat critical to get a pure waveform and this waveform is pure enough for classic old school radio applications. Sometimes the waveform is somewhat deteriorated but as long as it looks quite a good sine wave, sine wave it's usable. Again to the Circuit. This is the coil, one centimeter diameter, diameter uh, paper glued with glue for a rigid PVC. This glue makes it complete moisture free. These are the windings. This is the parallel capacitor. And of course these red diodes, red light emitting diodes. And uh, the other black diodes are also the parallel capacitor that I can change.